that it's there. It's got someone asleep in the passenger seat. What's up guys, welcome to Supercars of London and living with a six month update and today we're going to be talking about fuel economy. I've done a few videos in the past talking about how many MPG this car gets. I drove up to Scotland on one tank of fuel but I want to talk about it in more detail now that I've owned the car for six months or so. I hopefully have a lot more information for you guys um, and uh, be able to talk to you about what it's like to run this car with the Armitrix exhaust system. So um, at the moment where I live is north, north, east, west northwest of London, uh, just outside the M25. And for those that don't know uh, or don't live in the UK, if you do live in the UK, you'll know what the M25 is. If you don't live in the UK and you want to know what the M25 is, it's a big ring road around uh, the outskirts of London. And um, if you live in the UK, you'll know exactly that it's the UK's largest um, parking, par car park, yeah. That went well. And for those that live in the UK, you'll know that the M25 is the UK's largest car park. So we're about to go from the northwest all the way down to the southeast, which is around an hour and a half. So uh, we're going to go and fill this car up and uh, then we'll talk about fuel economy. And you're going to be coming with me um, on this long journey. So uh, be prepared for um, your everyday car journey, car spotting and talking about MPG. So you're going to sit up here for the entire time. Fuel has been purchased and I just had to uh, get some cash out as well. And you're all blurry. Um, let's have a look. And my fuel range, 235 miles of... So we have 235 miles of fuel. Um, the journey, I don't even know, I shall do it now. The journey is going to take. So the journey, 235 miles of fuel is saying it's going to take 48 minutes, which um, I don't believe for one second it's going to take 48 minutes. Um, the time is quarter past five, so we will time ourselves. And now I'm just having a look to see how many miles that is. 48, 48, 48 minutes. No, an hour and 30 minutes now it's saying. 73 miles. Let's go. So we're on the M25, we're going clockwise, so we're going this way around, which on your screen will probably look like that. Anyway, the whole idea of living with a supercar when I bought the car was just to make some fun episodes of doing everyday normal stuff with this car um, that you wouldn't normally expect to see, like going through a McDonald's drive through that sort of stuff. However, now that I've had the car for six months, I feel like I could probably give you guys a really good bit of information how do you block that sun out? It was really annoying. Give you some really good information and insight into um, running this car. There's lots of questions out there that you've uh, asked and commented on some of my videos. So hopefully um, I'm going to be able to answer as many as possible in this video and as well um, across the whole Living With A Supercar um, series. Talking about the fuel range, Having the fuel range at 245 or whatever when you fill the car up, it bases on um, what your average driving styles are like. So if you saw my uh, video of going through um, London to Edinburgh uh, for the Gumball 3000, you would have seen that my fuel economy went right through the roof. And like, if we checked it now, then my live fuel range is uh, 26 miles to the gallon, which isn't too bad. I've got it on cruise control so that I can talk to you guys and the exhaust isn't that loud. Uh, we're doing 65 miles an hour, um, well under the speed limit. It's just gone up to 250 miles an hour on my range. And the reason why I'm doing 65 miles an hour is we're on the M25. The traffic isn't too heavy at the moment, but we do go into 50 mile an hour speed, average speed checks, which are highly annoying and um, even more annoying that they go through, the 50 mile an hour speed checks actually go through a really long tunnel on this road. So maybe I'll drop it down to 10 miles an hour and be able to go all the way up to 75, 80, no 70, because the speed limit is 70. And that will probably average out at 50 miles an hour. Traffic's building up a bit on the M25, which is standard, like I said at the beginning of the video. This road is known as the UK's largest car park and um, 
I'll be quite lucky to not get any traffic on the way. My Google Maps is saying that I don't have any traffic on the way, and I would never use my Audi sat-nav, because if you watched my Paris video when I broke down in Paris, that sat-nav is probably the most useless thing in this car. It's more useless in this car than if I fitted paddles to the back of this steering wheel and kept it a manual. That's how useless it is. You wouldn't have to use the paddles. If you don't have cruise control, if you've never experienced cruise control, which I hadn't when I had my Vauxhall Astra, I didn't think that I would need it. Where I've got cruise control now and I use it pretty much all the time, it's absolutely bizarre to think that for this 4.2 litre V8, um, I'm having to break it now. It's stupid to think that for a 4.2 litre V8, um, I'm sure I'm going to get criticised for even using the cruise control when I should be thrashing it every single day, driving at full speed every single place that I go. But that's just not the case when you have this car, uh, mainly because I've learned that if you drive it hard, it breaks. <laughs> We are at 275 miles of fuel left. So it's going up. We started on 235 15 minutes ago. So we're going up quite fast in terms of um, getting my average MPG up. We are currently on 20.8 MPG and that's because we're going uphill. We're going to be going downhill now um, and we're going up. 27.8, 28, 29, 30. So when you go downhill, the, MP, the live MPG goes up, 37, 38, 40, 41, 42. Oh, that would be absolutely perfect. The car that is there, has got someone asleep in the passenger seat. Do I wake them up? And there's a tunnel. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Zooming in. I'm doing it. I'm waking her up. She's asleep. Valves on. did the job. I've never done that before, try and wake someone up in a different car. They're here. And she's still fast asleep. Damn it, that was the perfect opportunity. <laughs> here we go, another update. We're back down to an average speed check of 50, and that's because we've got the Dartford Tunnel ahead. I'm not sure whether you can see that. Unfortunately, uh, there is no... I've got a pay to go over here. What? Oh well. At least I'm not the only one enjoying it. You're gonna watch it too. Here we go, over the Dartford Bridge. Check this out. This is to pay. Like, let's try and zoom in. God damn it. There's like a car park down there. All those brake lights. How can you like swerve it? I suppose it's only two pound. Did you enjoy that? Was it worth two pound? Mm. Oh, braking, braking. This is the first time I've touched my brakes in a long time. And it's only my lane that's breaking, typical. 
we are 30 minutes away and 20 miles away. So, um, yeah, Dartford Tunnel, what did you think of it? Two pound worth? I don't even know why they charge it two pound. It's not like a, a famous landmark, or is it? Ooh, I could have offended a lot of people in the UK there by saying that. Um, it's not like a heritage site, though, that like charge you to the up for the upkeep of it, or is it? I don't know. I'm not too clued up on it all. God damn it. Two pound. I don't mind paying two pound to a museum or an art gallery that needs that money to run. I'm pretty sure that bridge can run without. Is it two pound? You're paying two pounds to pay for the salary of the people collecting two pound. That's what you're doing. The bridge doesn't need the two pound, the tunnel doesn't need two pound, but the people that are here, that are collecting all the money, are obviously getting paid. So they just sat themselves there, just sat themselves there, taking everyone's money, and they're just pocketing it, pocketing it all. Man, I need to come up with an idea like that. Seems like it's a good bit of profit in this, because everyone is having to pay. Let's count how many cars there are, there's at least, at least 75 cars here. And like in the next minute, all 75 cars will go through. So that is 150 pounds in a minute. It sounds like a footballer's wage. I hope they give change as well. Change given, shit, I'm in the wrong lane. have to cut through some lanes because I didn't read it properly what a fool the lanes here there's four lanes here which are coins and I have a note so now everyone is facing this way and I'm awkwardly at a 45 degree angle when everyone else is facing the right way. Thank you. Whoops. God, I'm stupid. Oh. The one good thing that I'll say about the Audi R8 is the, the seats are really comfy. So we've been driving uh, an hour now, and um, my back doesn't hurt. Nothing. It's actually really nice. It's just the aircon's on. I've got the aircon on, even though I'm doing fuel consumption. Um, it does get hot in here. Everything in here is black, and the black leather gets hot. So when the sun's shining on it, it is um, not great. You really want Alcantara seats, which I want anyway, on my next car. I need to get money out. If there is people here, there is. So this is what we're this is what we're paying for. Would you have to pay? Two pounds. Thank you. And we're going. gear changes I had my valves off Stop. and I lost five miles I lost five miles of fuel so having looked at my route on Google Maps it seems that we're turning off the dual carriageway and literally uh, my destination is just off the dual carriageway so we're not going to be able to get too much fuel consumption footage um, from town driving which isn't a problem um, as um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video talking about some of the uh, uh, running costs not the running costs so much but actually what it's like to drive this car on a long journey um, and this was the perfect opportunity to do so we had a few tunnels which was a lot of fun uh, we played a few games which was a lot of fun I hope you guys have enjoyed this video um, and had a lot of fun 
Um, and I hope you're enjoying this Living With A Supercar six month update. I wanted to make some fun, well thought through videos for you guys um, that sort of twist on um, ownership of uh, an Audi R8 or something like that. And to be perfectly honest, I want to continue doing these 12 month update, 18 months update, 24 months update. Although I hope that after 24 months of owning this car, I'll have another car which would be really cool. Imagine doing living with a supercar with an actual supercar. Uh, I sometimes make myself chuckle. So there we have it. As I slow down using my cruise control and a Vauxhall Astra Coupe steams past me. Um, I'd like to say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. Please subscribe to the Supercars of London YouTube channel for a whole host of uh, videos, including living with, living with a supercar, including the Supercars of London. These videos are going to be coming back thick and fast, um, and just a whole variety um, from my supercar adventures. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week for another episode of Living with a Supercar six-month update. Cheers, guys.